Hi, kids. I got footprints on my door. My window's open. <clears throat> that can only mean one thing. My window regulators went out. I've got a hundred things to do today, so I got to get this fixed pretty quick. Luckily, I still have this junk door uh, from when I hit the deer, which should have a good window regulator in it. So let's see how quick I can pull that regulator out of that door and put it into that door. I think the first thing to do is take the bolts out that hold the regulator in. Isn't that what you do? That's what I do. 10 millimeter. That should be the plug. That's the track. I don't have a lot of time today. Loosen this one. And this one. These three are for the motor. Pop that plug off. That plug. That little thing. Alright, there's all those loose. That should be able to come out of there. Alright. Bolts that actually hold the window into the track. There's a bolt back in there and back in there that actually bolt the track to the window and those have to come off so oh, let's get our little 10 millimeter ratchet wrench in there um, the ideal thing would be to run it down to where the holes are in the bottom but since this door isn't actually hooked to anything that's not going to happen All right. Ouch. shoot there's one bolt <clears throat> Finally managed to kind of wrestle this thing around to where I can get onto this bolt. Just kind of work the track back this way. And uh, that should leave enough room to get this apart. Get the actual window out. Now that the glass is out, how does this regulator come out? Does it come out through the top? Does it come out through this big hole here? It either comes out through here or through here. I'm not sure which. Maybe here. Motor out. Oh yeah, there you go. That's it. Cable driven window regulator. So these bolt in here. That's how your stuff works. See? That's how it goes inside the door. Um, it's not unusual to break these. I just had to do this job on the kids' Mitsubishi, and both of them were broke. So we had to track down new uh, plastic mounting things and put those on. That was tricky, difficult to find. So now that we've got our regulator out of that door, time to put one in this door. It's going to require us disassembling this door for the 10,000th time. So to get this off, First thing I'm gonna start with are these two door, door garnishes. This one you pop out and then push out. Pop it like that and then pull it up towards the, there, and it just slides out, see? Just pulls off all together, boink. Let's start with the speaker. This little washer set up here is my solution for that piece breaking take the door handle off pops this little plastic insert out and there's a screw behind there two screws behind there didn't i just have a screwdriver thought i was losing my nut there for a minute Two plugs on here, push the little tab, pull them off. Very easy. And we need to take the speaker off and put it someplace. Dinosaurs. Take the speaker off, put it someplace safe. Pull the card loose. Oh, actually, wait a minute. I forgot to do this. Unhook. There we go. 
Now we should be good to just come right off. There we go. These little rubber inserts, plugs, corks, whatever you want to call them, hold this plastic on. And I like to maintain this stuff because it's a, it's a moisture barrier. It tries to keep water out of your door. Um, this is interesting. This door came off of a 2005, I think. My car is a 2003. But what I've noticed is this glue that they use to hold all this together is much more forgiving on the later models than it is on the earlier models. All right, now that I've got all this apart, let's hook our window switch back up and see what the hell this thing's doing. Nothing. So this, kids, is what we call a, a clue. The motor's actually fine, um, but the cables come apart. So this being a cable-driven system, that is a problem. So let's get our system unbolted from our window, get the window up and tape it in place. Gotta take out those two screws, those two screws, and two bolts back here that hold the motor in. That should do it. There are four bolts that hold the track on. You're gonna take out three of them and then you're gonna loosen this last one. That one doesn't have to come out. It can, it doesn't have to, it doesn't really matter because this is the junk one that we're gonna be taking out and throwing in the trash. And now we loosen up these motor bolts. Motor bolts, motor bolts, that's fine to say. That's all loose. Now let's unplug our motor. Pop that loose. All right, that should be loose enough to remove. All of this should be able to come out through this hole. I may have to unhook this wire, but I don't know. We'll see if we can do it without it first. Remember the way that came out? Here's our, our damaged drive system. Um, may save a little motor, but the rest of this is junk. This this cable broke. That's that's the problem there. So the crap is crapped out. That's how that's gonna have to go in there. It's a little stiffer than the one we took out because uh, the one we took out was junk. So let's run this in the hole. See, now it's all in there. Now I just gotta line everything up. To save myself all kinds of aggravation, I'm gonna tape this window up out of my way because it's in my way. those down so that doesn't fall back out. Now I want to fish my wiring through. Her back in, plug that in. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so that I can move the track into a more easy to install location. all the way at the top I could not get it in so ran it down about halfway now I get my bolts out there we go three and four at the bottom down here So 
So what I want to do now is run my window track down so that those bolt holes line up with these two holes. And then I'll lower my window down and we'll get everything bolted in place. So we do that by hooking our switch back up and just bumping the switch until we see the bolt holes. There they are. Yeah. Now take the tape off and lower this window until it lines up with that. Put a bolt in it. Tricky, tricky. There they go. Do not over tighten that. They are plastic. That little tab that connects this to the window is plastic and you will break it. And if you break it, eh, you got a whole other job on your hands. Let's see if we got windows. Yeah. Well, that's better than what I had before. Yeah. That's all it is, guys. Took me about 30 minutes to put all this together. Okay. Speaker grill. Snapping it in place. And voila, we are done. So that's it for this week, kids. I'm so glad some piece of junk that I had laying around actually paid off. You know, you hang on to all this crap thinking one of these days I'll use it. And you never do. I'm gonna eventually get tired of looking at it and you throw it away. I was about to throw that door away. I'm glad this window crapped out now instead of the week after I uh, throw the door away. That would make me feel really bad. Anyway, till next time, this is Clint Searcy saying, you can do this. You can put a window regulator in your Honda Element. I promise. See you next week.